do a quick video on the Woodland Mills HM122 for YouTube. I don't do a lot of videos for YouTube, but I'm going to go ahead and do one for you. This one's bolted down with tap cons. I guess you could say bolted. But it's down with tap cons. Try to get it up as high as you can. Use as much of your feet as you can. See the extra bit of threads right there? I probably could have used about an inch of it, inch and a quarter of it. See there? Go up as high as you can. That way you can fit a stiff rake underneath these freaking members and uh, rake out the pecan bark and, you know, whatever that gets underneath there. You're going to want to do that for sure. Um, bushing replacements right here. These slide in. They can be pushed in further to over time. These is uh, they offer this free this bushing replacement on the HM 122 and probably their other ones too. The HM 130 Max. Um, I do have the sharpener, and it does a good job. I like it. I don't really have much complaint with this. I had the tension handle, actual threaded rod inside, blow apart while tension in a band once and put on the secondary handle they sent for free um just because i told them i had problems in here this is a 2020 edition um i got 43.1 hours on it and i love it it's done great it wiggles sometimes bearings have went out i'll tell you one big one big um tip don't <laughs> this is my make me sound a little dumb but uh don't spray the inside cabinet with water to clean it sometimes you want to do that it gets it nice and clean but it will wear out those chinese bearings in there another tip replace the bearings on the bands on this hm 122 it comes off pretty smooth if not you can polish the inside of the shafts or the outside of the shaft or the inside of the wheel to get it to slide on nice use anti-seize grease it'll come on and off very nice each time you can replace these bearings anytime you want you can buff that shaft so those wheels go on and off anytime you want keep your rubbers new all the time if you can if you see wear of your rubbers it's because there's a problem there's a tracking problem or something like that you know fix it um keep it up to date there's not a lot going on with these mills if you keep it everything in there your bearings and your belts good you won't have any problems keep everything true keep everything plumb keep everything square bolted down and calibrated and checked every now and then because you do slap big logs down on here so check it every now and then is the bunk square to the blade you know you won't have any problems it'll cut without jiggling left and right and if it does jiggle left and right, take all these bolts loose. Loosen them up. Square it up however you like. Tighten them back up. Maybe it'll do better. But eventually you're going to get those bolts tightened down right and it won't jiggle left and right. I do have this mill here. It's called a Pro Cut Saw Mill. It's kind of like an Alaskan. It runs a big 32, 36 inch um, steel. I've been running it for five years. It's my log hauling trailer now. I use the winch to get the logs up. But it's been cutting slabs for five years with one power head. And um, I got a new power heads now. And it's just going to keep cutting 27 inch slabs. And I can move this angle iron over. And make it five foot wide and put an 880 on there if I want to. So... That's it. Good mill. Woodland Mills, the working man mill. All right. There's your review. The working man mill. Woodland Mills, HM 122. 20th anniversary. Does a great job. It kicks butt and, and the customer service is great. Thank you, Canada.